Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful chicken leg keychain. For this, we are using two colors of yarn, crochet hook, cutter, needle, some stuffing and stitch marker. This chicken leg keychain is easy to do. To do this beautiful chicken leg keychain, we want to know the basic stitches like single crochet and magic circle. So first we will do these two legs and join them together and then we will join this top part along with the bottom part. So now let's see how to do this beautiful keychain. Start with magic circle. Chain 1, chain 2, Next we are going to work inside the circle. We are going to do 6 single crochet inside the circle. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over pull through the loop. You will have 2 loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through both the loops. This is what we say it is single crochet. Likewise you are going to do 5 more single crochet inside the circle. Totally you should have 6 single crochet. So 1, 2, 3. Pull this yarn to adjust the circle. Four, five, six. Pull this yarn to close the circle. We are going to work in rounds. So for next round, we are going to do two single crochet in this first stitch. One, two. Place the stitch marker in this first single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochet. One, two. Likewise, we are going to do two single crochet in each stitch. At the end of this round, we will be having 12 single crochet stitches. After doing 2 single crochet in each stitch, it looks like this. For next round, remove the stitch marker. Do 1 single crochet in that stitch. Place the stitch marker on that single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. So like this, we'll be doing one single crochet in each stitch. At the end of this round, you'll be having 12 single crochet stitches. After doing them, it looks like this. For next round, remove the stitch marker. Do one single crochet on that stitch. Place the stitch marker on that single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, you're going to do a decrease. We'll be doing an invisible decrease. For that, take the front loop. So if you see here, chain, you will have two loops. So this is the front loop and this is the back loop. So to do this invisible decrease, we'll take this front loop. So insert the hook in the front loop of one stitch and insert the hook in the front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. Have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is what we say it is decrease. So next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next, you are going to do an invisible decrease. So insert the hook in the front loop of first stitch. Front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, decrease. So at the end of this round, you will be having 9 single crochet stitches. So next remove the stitch marker. Finish this round by doing a slip stitch. So by following the same pattern, we have to do one more piece. So we are done with the other piece. Now we are going to join this piece along with this piece. Chain 1, we are going to do single crochet. Next stitch single crochet, place a stitch marker in the single crochet, next stitch single crochet. So likewise we will be doing single crochet in each stitch around till you reach the stitch marker. So at the end of this round you will be having 18 single crochet stitches. After doing them it looks like this, for next round remove the stitch marker, do a single crochet in that stitch. Place the stitch marker in that single crochet. Next stitch you are going to do an invisible decrease. Next stitch single crochet. Next stitch invisible decrease. So you are going to follow this pattern. 
till you reach the stitch marker at the end of this round you'll be having 12 single crochet stitches that is do single crochet in one stitch and do a invisible decrease in the other stitch after doing them it looks like this for next round you're going to do single crochet in each stitch place the stitch marker in this first single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet likewise you're going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the stitch marker by following the same pattern of doing single crochet in each stitch you have to do for one more row totally you should do single crochet for two rows and each row will be having 12 single crochet stitches after doing them it looks like this for next round you are going to change the color so we will not complete this last single crochet so insert the hook yarn over pull through take the other color and complete the single crochet so next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet the slip of this yarn so likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch around at the end of this round you will be having 12 single crochet stitches after completing this round it looks like this for next round do two single crochet in the first stitch one two place the stitch marker in this first single crochet next do single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing two single crochet in the first stitch one two and single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do two single crochet in the first stitch one two place the stitch marker in this first single crochet then do single crochet in each stitch for four stitches one two three four so this will be the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing two single crochet in the first stitch and single crochet in each stitch for four stitches one two three four follow this till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do two single crochet in the first stitch one two place the stitch marker in this first single crochet next do single crochet in each stitch for two stitches one two this is the pattern which you're going to follow for this row by doing two single crochet in the first stitch and single crochet in each stitch for two stitches one two till you reach the stitch marker first you are going to do two single crochet one two in the same stitch and single crochet in each stitch for two stitches after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do two single crochet in that stitch one two place the stitch marker in the first single crochet next you are going to do single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three so this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing two single crochet in the first stitch one two and single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do two single crochet in the same stitch place the stitch marker in the first single crochet next do single crochet in each stitch for four stitches one two three four so this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing two single crochet in the first stitch and single crochet in each stitch for four stitches one two three four 
follow this till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do single crochet in that stitch place the stitch marker in that single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the stitch marker so by following the same pattern of doing single crochet you have to do six more rows total you should have seven rows of single crochet after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do a decrease that is an invisible decrease in this first stitch place the stitch marker on that decrease stitch next do single crochet in each stitch for four stitches One, two, three, four. So this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this round by doing a decrease in the first stitch so decrease is nothing but joining two stitch into a single stitch then do single crochet in each stitch for four stitches one two three four so next stitch leave a decrease stitch next do single crochet in each stitch for four stitches you have to do this till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do a decrease in that first stitch so decrease is joining two stitch into a single stitch place the stitch marker next do single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three so follow this pattern till you reach the stitch marker that is do a decrease then do single crochet in each stitch for three stitches decrease and single crochet in each stitch for three stitches one two three so till you reach the stitch marker after doing them it looks like this for next round remove the stitch marker do single crochet in that stitch place the stitch marker next stitch do a decrease so this will be the pattern which you are going to follow for this row is do a single crochet in one stitch and next do a decrease next single crochet next decrease so you have to do them till you reach the stitch marker so after doing them it looks like this next you can do the stuffing after doing the stuffing it looks like this so next round it will be a decrease round so all the stitches you are going to make a decrease place the stitch marker in this decrease next stitch decrease next decrease so you have to do them till you reach the stitch marker remove the stitch marker next do a slip stitch in this first stitch chain one extend the yarn little bit for weaving and snip off this yarn next we can close this hole by inserting in each loop and pull next do chain five one two three four five and do a slip stitch and do chain one so this will be the key ring hole chicken drumstick keychain looks like this if you like this video like share comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos thank you friends